And a high tech firm in the East Bay looking to put planes into the sky without pilots. Same way we see some of those car companies are working now with those cars without drivers. And it comes at a critical time amid ongoing pilot shortages. The FAA has issued about 600, uh, 6,500 pilot licenses each year. Apple, one government estimate short, projects a shortfall of 18,000 plus pilots for the next decade. Sitting in the base, Scott McGrew went out to the Concord Airport to check out one solution, X-Wing. Mission Control is a one-room office in the second floor of a hangar at Buchanan Field. Down below, technicians double-check the sensors that will allow this Cessna caravan to take to the skies all by itself. Planes like this one are used every day to transport cargo and people to small communities all over the United States. But there's a pilot shortage, and the engineers at X-Wing think an airplane that can taxi, take off, fly, and land entirely by itself is a good solution. It's a, it's a struggle to, to hire and retain pilots. Uh, even with pilot pay increases and so forth, uh, there's just not enough supply. A safety pilot rides along for now, but entirely hands off. The computer flies, monitored by that mission control. Actually, flying's the easy part. It turns out the biggest challenge in automating flight is not the flight itself. After all, you've been on flights that are autopilot. The challenge is talking to those guys. Right now we're going to have somebody in this station or a station similar to this one talking to air traffic control and the voice is being relayed to the airplane. So no matter where this person is sitting and where the aircraft is, we can communicate with the local air traffic control facility. Does the tower know that they're talking to what is essentially is a robot airplane? They have no idea. They have no idea that the pilot is not located physically in the, uh, in the airplane. Airborne. X-Wing, which, yes, is absolutely named after the iconic Star Wars spacecraft, hopes to convince the FAA to certify its technology in the coming months. In Concord, Scott McGrew, NBC Bay Area.